Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a quick and easy recipe for taco pie. I live here in Texas, and one thing we love here in Texas besides barbecue is Tex-Mex, and this taco pie fits in perfectly. So let me show you what you're going to need. <clears throat> Excuse me. You are going to need a deep dish pie. So I always let my pie crust, um, it's a fro frozen pie crust. I let it thaw out completely and then I par baked it. You're also going to need some onion and I'm actually using frozen chopped onion. I don't have any fresh onion, but I learned during the pandemic that I needed to keep frozen chopped onion on hand and bell pepper on hand as well. You're going to need a can of refried beans. You're going to need a pound of ground beef, and I am using an extra lean ground beef. You're going to need taco seasoning, taco sauce, and cheese. And I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So if you wanna see how this recipe comes together, stay tuned. Got my meat and onions going here, and I absolutely love this meat chopper. If you don't have one, it is worth the investment. It gets your meat chopped really fine. Um, and I got this one from my local grocery store, HEB. Um, it was like four bucks, so worth it. So I'm gonna let this continue to cook down and I will be back. Just adding in my taco sauce. I'm gonna mix up my refried beans. So all I did was just put my refried beans in a bowl. Um, I didn't cook them or warm them up or anything. I just kind of dumped them in there. And then to that, I'm going to add my taco sauce. And just gonna mix it up. So let's put this taco pie together. I've got my taco meat, I've got my cheese right here, and then I've got my refried beans right here, and then I've got my par-baked pie shell right here. So I am just going to put a layer of beans on the bottom of the pie shell first. Layer of ground beef. cheese and then you're going to repeat the layers here is the taco pie and as you can see it is fully loaded. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I am going to pop it in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes or until the cheese is all nice and bubbly. And then I will come back and show you guys how it turned out. So here is the taco pie. I ended up baking this for half an hour and then I let it cool for about 20, 30 minutes or so. I cut out a piece so you could see the inside. You could see all the different layers there. And as you can see, this was a really quick and easy recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.